Hello friends, welcome to Fierce Cloud Learn to Lead. Good morning to all the students. As you know, we already started the May month's topic wise current fair and we covered so many important topics. But today topic is very very important. This is government schemes which were released or which were launched during the month of May 2023. So this video is very important for every type of exam. So watch this video till last and watch carefully. But first of all, you have to download our application Careers Cloud from the Google Play Store. Then you can log in with your email ID. Then click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very less. But the important thing what we are providing under this subscription. So we are providing you daily current fairs. In the daily current fair section, you will get the PDF for the daily current fairs. And also you can attempt quiz on daily basis on our application so that you can check that how much current fairs you can retain. And we are also providing weekly current fairs for the revision in the weekly. Again, you will get one the quiz section and second is basically the top weekly current fairs and these are provided in the PDF form and the quiz you can attempt on our application. We are also providing monthly current fairs and in the monthly current fair section again, you will get the ebooks in the different different categories and also the top 100 current fair and the quiz section on our application so that you can revise three times. One is daily, weekly and third monthly. But we are providing these current fairs in English as well as in Hindi section also. We are also providing special current fairs like Banking Affairs 2022 you can see here. And in the Banking Current Fair section, you will get Banking and Economy section, Banking and Economy section quiz and this can be attempted on our application. You will also get PDF for this section. And if you have any particular exam like SBA clerk exam, any type of the banking exam, then we are also providing special exam oriented current fairs. And we are providing state current fair also for the state public service commission examination or any other state examination. And we are covering every state and union territory. You can see here some states are written here. You can also avail the topic wise content. In the topic wise content, you will get the particular topic current fairs in one place. Like if you want to revise the national affairs only, then you will get the PDF fair. If you want to revise only awards, only appointments, only sports related current fair for particular exam, you can revise from the topic wise content. And all these things are covered only under one subscription and you can subscribe for one year as well as for two years. So start your preparation with the affairs cloud and you have to download our application careers cloud from the Google Play Store and click on this crack run fair section to subscribe our run fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low and if you want to avail extra 10% discount then use this code ASH10. And if you have any query you can email us on this email ID or you can call us on this number. So let's start the May month's topic wise current fair and today topic of discussion is government schemes which were released during the month of May 2023 we will discuss under this video. So this video is very important for every type of exam and here is the first question. Which of the following social security schemes along with Atal Pension Yojana have observed the 8th anniversary on 9th of May 2023? Steady question you can remember just from slide. And name of this scheme is Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana. Answer of this question is both 1 and 2. So 9th of May 2023 marks the 8th anniversary of the three major social security schemes. One is Pradhan Mantri Jan Jyoti Bhima Yojana. You can see the first option. Second is Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana. And third one is Atal Pension Yojana. And Union Minister of Finance Nirmala Sitaramanji stated that till 26th of April 2023, 16.2 crore, 34.2 crore and, and 5.2 crore enrollments have been done under the first scheme like Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana total enrollment is 34.2 crore and 5.2 crore under the Atal Pension Yojana. And the total enrollment under all three schemes is 55.6 crore. And the three schemes were built under the initiative of National Mission for Financial Inclusion, which was launched to ensure that every citizen in India has access to the banking facilities, financial literacy and social security coverage. Moving to next question. In May 2023, Minister of State of Family and Health Welfare Dr. Bharti Parveen Pawar launched the third phase of Thalassemia Pal Seva Yojana. 
थैलेसीमिया बाल सेवा योजना इज एन इनिशिएटिव ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर विच इज बींग सपोर्टेड बाई डैश कंपनी एज ए पार्ट ऑफ देयर कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड दिस कंपनी इज कोल इंडिया लिमिटेड आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज सेकेंड सो दिस इज दर्ड फेज ऑफ थैलेसीमिया बाल सेवा योजना एंड इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट डॉक्टर भारती प्रवीण पवार हु इज मिनिस्टर ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर to commemorate the world thalassemia day which was observed on 8th of may 2023 and thalassemia bal seva yojana is an initiative of ministry of health and family welfare which is being supported by coal india limited as a part of their corporate social responsibility and the minister also launched thalassemia bal seva yojana portal and released the standard treatment workflow for the sickle cell disease developed by the indian council of medical research during the event and remember thalassemia is a genetic blood disorder that causes the body to have less hemoglobin less hemoglobin than normal and hemoglobin enables red blood cells to carry oxygen and thalassemia can cause anemia leading to fatigue so this is very important and remember uh which company is supporting this initiative this is coal india limited under the corporate social responsibility moving to next question which state government has recently approved the chief minister skill upgradation and global employment scheme to help youth of the state to pursue careers in the foreign nations again very important question and this state is uttarakhand answer of this question is four so state cabinet of uttarakhand chaired by chief minister Pushkar Singh Dhami ji approved the Chief Minister Skill Upgradation and Global Employment Scheme which is also known as Mukhya Mantri Kaushal Unyan or Vaishvik Rojgar Yojana to help youth of the state to pursue career in the foreign nations and the scheme will also help aspiring youth in the procedures related to tickets visas of the selected candidates apart from grooming and upskilling and an application has been developed on the अपनी सरकार पोर्टल अपनी सरकार पोर्टल टू क्रिएट ए डेटाबेस रिलेटेड टू यूथ सीकिंग जॉब अब्रॉड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेम द चीफ मिनिस्टर हु हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च आयुष्मान असोम स्कीम अंडर द मुख्यमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना और आयुष्मान भारत योजना सो बाय द नेम ऑफ दिस असम यू कैन गेस दैट दिस इज लॉन्च बाय हेमंत बिस्वा शर्मा आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज थ्री सो हेमंत बिस्वा शर्मा हु इज करेंटली द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ असम has launched a ayushman asom scheme under the mukhyamantri jan arogya yojana aimed at promoting accessible and affordable healthcare across assam and ayushman asom mukhyamantri jan arogya yojana is an initiative of the department of medical education and research under the government of assam and ayushman asom mukhyamantri jan arogya yojana scheme covers as many as 1578 healthcare procedures in more than 300 impaneled hospitals within the state and all ayushman bharat impaneled hospitals across the country next question himant biswa sharma chief minister of assam dedicated digitizing assam a community project aimed at digitization of rare assamese journals and books published between dash and dash for public use at an event organized at the janata bhavan in guwahati in assam and this was in between 1813 to 1970 so answer of this question is 4 so remember himant biswa sharma who is the chief minister of assam dedicated digitizing assam a community project aimed at digitization of rare assamese journals and books published between 1813 and 1970 for public use and the event was organized at janata bhavan in guwahati in assam and its phase 1 is recently launched and in the first phase of the project journals published between 1840 to 1970 have been included encompassing 3071 editions as many as 161 journals with a total of 245000 almost pages and uh, after that phase 2 will be launched and in the second phase of the project under processing shall cover books published between 1813 to 1962 all the real collections of the books can be digitized under this phase next question which state has recently launched geeta karmikula bima scheme or geeta karmikul bima scheme and this state is telangana answer of this question is 
सो तेलंगाना चीफ मिनिस्टर के चंद्रशेखर राव अनाउंस्ड ए स्पेशल स्कीम नेम्ड गीता कर्मिकुल बीमा फॉर दी ताड़ी टैपर्स और ऑल्सो नोन एज ताड़ी ताड़ी टैपर्स और दी टॉपर्स यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस एंड दिस इज ताड़ी टैपर्स कम्युनिटी ऑफ तेलंगाना टू प्रोवाइड लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कवर ऑफ फाइव लैख टू दी ताड़ी टैपर्स एंड गीता कर्मिकुल बीमा स्कीम इज इन द लाइन ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग स्कीम रायथू बीमा रायथू बीमा स्कीम व्हिच वाज डिजाइंड बाय द तेलंगाना गवर्नमेंट for the farmers family and the main objective of this scheme is to provide financial support to the family members of the tadi toppers who accidentally or unfortunately fall from the trees while collecting tadi move into next question which state chief minister has recently flagged off 406 veterinary ambulances under the pashu chikitsa ambulance or animal ambulance scheme so very important question and this is shivraj singh chauhan under the chief minister of madhya pradesh answer of this question is 4 so shivraj singh chauhan chief minister of madhya pradesh inaugurated a gau raksha remember gau raksha gau raksha sankalp samelan cow protection resolution conference at the lal parade ground in the bhopal area of the madhya pradesh and flagged of 406 veterinary ambulances under the pashu chikitsa ambulance or animal ambulance scheme and the ambulance mainly meant for the treatment of cows will operate in urban areas and all developmental blocks of the madhya pradesh and shivraj singh chauhan also launched a toll free number 1962 for the treatment of animals in an any emergency next question which state chief minister has recently launched a scheme and ISHTH campaign for the jail inmates and remember ISHTH it means integrated campaign i stands for integrated campaign against s stands for sexually transmitted infections h stands for hiv hiv t stands for tuberculosis and h stands for hepatitis so this is very important scheme for the jail inmates and this was launched by sukhvinder singh sukhu ji who is the chief minister of himachal pradesh answer of this question is 4 so sukhvinder singh sukhu ji chief minister of himachal pradesh launched a scheme known as him care scheme and it is for the jail inmates by providing him care cards to the pensioners at the modern central jail kanda in shimla and the initiative aims to cover the cost of premiums for inmates easing their financial burden during their time in prison and second is ISHTH i already told you the cm has presided over a launch of the integrated campaign against the sexually transmitted infections hiv tuberculosis and hepatitis in prison and also other close setting at the kanda jail which will screen and treat prisoners across the state and the efforts taken by the state government is to get rid of the diseases and move forward to achieve the target of eliminating aids by the year of 2030 next question which state government has recently launched a farm loan interest waiver scheme called mukhya mantri krishak byaj maafi yojana 2023 mukhya mantri krishak byaj maafi yojana 2023 and this state is madhya pradesh answer of this question is 4 so chief minister of madhya pradesh shivraj singh chauhan ji launched a farm loan interest waiver scheme farm loan interest waiver scheme named as mukhya mantri krishak byaj maafi yojana scheme or the chief minister farmer loan waiver scheme to compensate the defaulter farmers who have outstanding loan up to 2 lakh rupees including the principal and interest as on 31st of march 2023 from primary agriculture credit societies affiliated to district cooperative central banks and under this outstanding amount of almost 2100 crore will be waived off for 11 lakh farmers and will also be credited as default free next question which state government has recently announced a new scheme named as mukhya mantri sikho kamao yojana or the chief minister learn and earn scheme to provide opportunities to learn skills for unemployed youth so that they can make their future better and again this state is madhya pradesh answer of this question is 3 so the state cabinet of madhya pradesh chaired by the chief minister shivraj singh chauhan ji announced a new scheme named as chief minister learn and earn scheme to provide opportunity to learn skills for the unemployed youth of the state 
एंड वट इज द एलिजिबिलिटी कैंडिडेट्स अकोमोडेटेड इन मध्य प्रदेश एज बिटवीन एटीन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन विद ए मिनिमम एजुकेशन क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ ट्वेल्थ क्लास आई टी आई आर एलिजिबल फॉर द स्कीम एंड मंथली स्टाइपन विल बी गिवन टू द स्टूडेंट्स लाइक फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट्स एट थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ विल बी गिवन फॉर आई टी आई एटी फाइव हंड्रेड फॉर डिप्लोमा होल्डर्स नाइन थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड फॉर ग्रेजुएट टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज विल बी गिवन एज ए स्टाइपन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन In May 2023, Dash became India's first state to provide free air travel, free air travel to the pilgrims under the Mukhya Mantri Tirath Darshan Yojana. Again, this state is Madhya Pradesh. So, three schemes related to Madhya Pradesh. Answer of this question is four. Sivra Singh Chauhan, Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, flagged off a batch of 32 senior citizens, comprising 24 men and eight women, on the pilgrimage to Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh, from Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh. to raja boj airport in bopal madhya pradesh through a flight under the mukhya mantri tirath darshan yojana and madhya pradesh has become the india's first state first state to conduct pilgrimage by air on government expenditure under the mukhya mantri tirath darshan yojana next question in may 2023 the ministry of civil aviation launched regional connectivity scheme ude desh ka aam nagrik to enhance connectivity to the remote areas via helicopter and ministry of civil aviation launched the regional connectivity scheme ude desh ka aam nagrik 5.1 5.1 to enhance connectivity to the remote areas of the country and achieve last mile connectivity through the helicopters so answer of this question is 3 udan 5.1 and for the first time regional connectivity scheme udan scheme is designed specially for helicopter routes and unan 5.1 is designed in consultation with all stakeholders including helicopter operators and unan 5.1 focuses on two emerging phenomena in indian civil aviation one is uh, democratization of the air travel with focus on the last mile connectivity and uh, increasing demand for the helicopters in aiding tourism next question Which state government has recently approved 18 important proposals, including the new Mo Ghar Scheme, Government Housing Assistance Scheme in the rural area? And uh, this state is Odisha. Answer of this question is four. So the Odisha cabinet, chaired by Chief Minister Navin Patnaik ji, approved 18 important proposals, including the new scheme named as Mo Ghar Scheme or Government Housing Assistance Scheme of the rural area. and the mo ghar aims to provide financial assistance to meet the aspiration of the lower and the lower middle income households of the rural odisha and mo ghar will be implemented through the panchayati raj and the drinking water department under the government of odisha and the cabinet also decided to develop the konark temple konark temple complex as a part of the konark heritage area development project under the integrated development of heritage and mon monuments and tourist destination scheme on a turn key basis and the odisha cabinet also approved the establishment and incorporation of a university as an affiliate university in the name of odisha university of health sciences and this university aims to achieve excellence in the field of medical and allied health education and research next question Which state government has recently unveiled the five books under the Nayi Pehel or the New Initiative Scheme to promote young writers? And this state government is Goa. Answer of this question is second. So, Governor of Goa, P. S. Shridharan Pillai, unveiled the five books published by the Raj Bhavan in Goa under the Nayi Pehel or New Initiative Scheme in presence of Goan writer and Gyan Pit Award winner Damodar Mauzo. and the five books were authored by sanjay ramesh salekar pallavi polekar and other famous personalities you don't have to remember the names and the nayi pehal scheme was launched by the government of goa in february 2023 to promote and sponsor young writers and support them to publish their first book and the writer were offered to choose from seven genres ranging from fiction non fiction poems autobiography anthology of stories So remember the name of the initiative. This is Nay Pehel Scheme, which was launched by the Goa State Government. So this is all for today. 
please like share and subscribe our channel and thank you for watching this video and you can subscribe our all platforms like facebook instagram linkedin and telegram channel all the official notifications delivered through the telegram channel so just subscribe from the description box link thank you guys take care and bye bye